Raphael Dawkins with the Comeback Radio. And today, this morning, or wherever, this afternoon, wherever you are, this evening, <laughs> we're looking at the Jose Pedraza versus Javier Molina. The fight and it's a result. Okay, so as you may know, this is Jose Pedraza's second appearance in the MGM Grand Bubble. And uh, this is what I call a nice fight. This was a display of two skillful boxers, two skillful combatants, two artful combatants. But one was more artful than the other. And uh, that guy was the most, the more experienced of the two. Both fighters were 2008 Olympians. One has more fights than the other, 28 and three losses, 13 KOs. The other, 22, three losses and nine KOs. And uh, one of them has been in there with the likes of Vasily Lomachenko and uh, taken a loss to Jose Zapida. And he wants to he wants to avenge that loss. And that guy is Pedraza from uh, where is he? Puerto Rico. And uh, Molina, the Mexican American. And it was a great fight. Well, great fight. Maybe that's overstating it, but it was a very entertaining fight for those who like displays of skill and uh, Pedraza was the one taking the fight to Molina. Pedraza was the one with the more varied attack <laughs> and the more varied defense and uh, some of that was with the head. There were some several head clashes and uh, Molina was the one on the receiving end of those. But uh, yeah, he didn't do anything to help himself, kept his head on the center line at times when he would have been better off changing the angles, pivoting, switching sides. But it was Pedraza who was the one who was showing those, those artful, those artful skills. And uh, yeah, this is appropriate. This is an appropriate shot right there of Molina being on the receiving end of what was that? Nice right-left combination. Pedraza being the switch hitter. Orthodox and then seamless, seamlessly moving into unorthodox. Southpaw. And uh, yeah, Pedraza was the one who came out victorious, busted up Molina early on with punches and uh, what were deemed to be accidental headbutts where Molina didn't really help himself at all. Uh, what were the score? The score was, the scores were 99 to 91 on one judge's scorecards, 98 to 92 on the other two judges scorecards in this junior welterweight main event and uh, so I guess yes you figured it out Pedraza Pedraza was the one who emerged victorious and nicknamed him the sniper he says that means I have to be patient I have to wait till my moment comes and then take advantage of it I do believe I'm ready for a world title opportunity, whoever it happens to be, whether it be Josh Taylor or Jose Ramirez. I want the winner of that fight. If for some reason I can't get the world title shot against them straight away, I want to respectfully ask for a rematch with Jose Zipida. Okay, so there you have it. Uh-oh. 
but I'm there. So it, <laughs> there you have it. The Draza from Puerto Rico emerges victorious and uh, wants a shot against either Josh Taylor or Ramirez, whoever, whoever emerges the victor. Okay, so that's that. And uh, might as well throw in this one. I haven't got time to make another video, so I might as well throw in the FA Ajagba result. Okay, so FA Ajagba beats, what's the guy's name? Johnny Rice um, by scores of 99 to 91 times 2 and 98 to 92. Yes, so you guessed it. The fight went the distance. A Jaguar hurt his right hand in early in the fight, but uh, managed to control control the distance with his jab as he cruised to an easy victory. Okay, so that is the story of Jose Pedraza versus Javier Molina, and also the bonus, the bonus of the FA Ajagba versus a Johnny Rice fight, breakdown, and analysis, and result. Okay, so this is the Raphael Dawkins, it's the combat radio, it's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comments, it's the shares, and it is the hitting that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. Don't forget about the live show. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. And I'm out.